brain injuries uh, can be the most traumatic injury a human being can ever sustain. And a brain injury, of course, that is a severe brain injury, where you have brain bleeds, expansion, damage to the brain, can lead to being in a coma, can lead to not being able to think properly, compute information properly. And our brain is so specialized that how we think, feel, smell, taste, hear, is all controlled by your brain. So when you have a brain injury, whether it's a mild brain injury or a very severe brain injury, you are entitled to receive compensation for that injury. And the amount of compensation that you receive depends upon the duration of that injury, the type of treatment for that injury. So people that we represent, for instance, with traumatic brain injuries that are in comas, they're in a semi-vegetative state, the care plans to take care of individuals like that can be tens of millions of dollars. In addition, the quality of that person's life is so drastically affected that the jury, in considering their damages of pain and suffering, mental anguish, and what it's done to that person's life, absolutely entitles that person to ask for damages for that particular injury. The mild traumatic brain injury, that mild traumatic brain injury is, can also be very severe. It can affect a, a, a person's ability to obtain a job, retain a job. It can affect relationships. People with brain injuries sometimes can be reserved. They can be withdrawn. They may not communicate the same. So every person is different and how that brain injury affects them can be different and the amount of care and treatment they need over their life can be different. But absolutely, people with traumatic brain injuries are entitled to ask for compensation based on the level and extent of that injury.